Hello, welcome to Ikate's Crossing as we continue our exploration of Journey of the Heart, Chapter 9. And we're doing a message from Wisdom from the Epics of Wind. What card are we going to focus on today? Okay, Durgodana's Jealousy. Okay, we're talking about jealousy. Let's have a look here. So, you know, you're thinking about relationships. You know, why is that green eyed monster coming out? What's making you jealous about it? What's stopping you from moving forward? You know, what's that thought or that perception that's making you jealous? Doesn't necessarily mean it's facts. So, just take a moment to breathe. You know, what's your perception in this? You know, what are you projecting? in this situation. So just take a moment to think about that. Okay, Duryodhana was the oldest of 101 children of the blind king. Ah. Dhritarashtra. He was capable, agile, strong-bodied and warrior with all the markings of a powerful king. But he was also a very jealous as a person and was under the maleficent guidance of his cunning maternal uncle Shakuni. As a child, under Shakuni's influence, he had tried to poison and kill his cousin Bhima, who used to frequently bully him. Owing to his blindness, Drita um, Rashtra had to give up his throne to his younger brother Pandu. Pandu could not have children, and his wife Kunti had to use her boons to have children, the Padivas, the with gods. Jurodana argued that the throne was rightfully his father's and therefore he should be made king. Beside the Pandava brothers were not children of the family by birth, even though his reasoning was right. His, bit, his bitter rivalry with his cousins caused a lot of unpleasantness within the family. Eventually, Jurodana was made king of Hastinpur. The Pandavas were given a small piece of land away from the main kingdom where the eldest Pandava, Yudhishthira, was crowned king. Over time, Yudhishthira was and his kingdom flourished, while Durodhana and his kingdom started performing poorly, blinded by rage and jealousy. Durodhana plotted against the Pandavas, which spiralled out of control and culminated with the Mah Mahabharata War. Okay questions to ask yourself. Do you have a tendency to feel envious? Do you feel sorry for yourself for the one, for that one thing that you don't have? Actions to take. If you're feeling envy, acknowledge it, learn from it and work on improving yourself. Envy can be a sign that you are underperforming. Aim higher, work harder and you will get the life of your dreams. Talk to a trusted friend or family member about your feelings of jealousy. This will help you clear out the toxicity and at the same time may reinforce your confidence. The message is you are unique, special and loved. You are made of purest cosmic energy. Acknowledge your nobility. Being gracious in, sp in spite of conflict will bring the grace of God into your life. Okay, so that's something to think about at this time with relationships. What's giving you that perception, that envious feeling? That feeling of um, anger, that feeling of um, being humiliated, being, you know, think of those cards that we've already had as we've moved through this chapter. So why jealousy? What's going on? What's making you feel like you want to cause harm to others or yourself? Empowering ourselves in our place of need. Fortunately for their relationship, Jan and David had a deep, passionate connection that they did not want to lose. Since they had also suffered from enough from playing out their projections in past relationships, they were ready and determined to work with their conflict in a new way. The first step in using a relationship conflict as path is to shift our focus away from the heat of the struggle with our partner and explore its source inside ourselves. Any serious relationship struggle can always point us to wounded places inside ourselves that we have turned away from and that need attention and healing. 
at the core at the core of such wounds is a painful inner contraction and conflict around some essential need for that we have an essential need as such as to love or be ourselves is one that comes from our being our basic desire to live as fully as we can thus at the bottom of most serious relationship struggles underneath all the projection and defensiveness are essential needs that we are not acknowledging or that we are expressing in distorted ways when we express real needs in distorted ways it is usually because we are under the influence of the accusing critic or the wounded child within us the critic makes us feel guilty and ashamed of the need while the hurt child often acts it out in a compulsive self-defeating way often we oscillate between these two extremes for instance the wounded child within jan would become demanding instead of expressing her need for contact straightforwardly when this drove david away she would then attack herself for being needy the more the critic attacks the more frustrated and furtive the child becomes and this leads to further fruitless acting out to break out of this cycle we need to empower ourselves by establishing a straightforward adult relationship with our needs so that neither the critic nor the wounded child remains in charge then we will no longer have to apologize or fight for them we can then begin to express them in clear and simple terms i need i feel a more effective form of communication that usually invokes a positive response from others often we do not know what the real needs underlying a conflict with our partner are so well have we hidden them from ourselves yet we can always bring them to light by paying attention to the pain or fear that the conflict stirs up in us by taking our seat on the edge of our pain inquiring gently into it and opening to it we will eventually come to the sore or frightened place inside an old wound from childhood at the core of this wound we will find a genuine need which we have felt so conflicted about that we hardly ever recognize or expressed it directly usually when it arises in a relationship we contract closing down or becoming angry with our partner yet if we can make a friendly space for this need we will find a basic intelligence in it and this will enable us to trust it and express it in more straightforwardly in his conflict with jan david was in pain about feeling engulfed by her need for loving contact when he opened to this pain it connected him with a deep wound from his past his conflicted feelings about needing to be an individual in his own right although he would blame jan for not letting him have his own space the truth was that he did not fe really feel entitled to it this was because of his guilt about having to push away his mother in order to be himself out of the guilt david had to develop crit had developed critic stories that led him to believe that his need to be himself was somehow wrong bad or impossible the first step in empowering ourselves in our wounded places often involves cutting through the critic stories that deflect our intention from our core wound and the essential need hidden within it in david's case the critic would tell him why do you always have to prove you're separate what's the matter with you you're just afraid of love thus whenever he felt jane's need for contact he fell into an emotional bog a complex tangle of conflicting feelings helplessness then contraction self-critical blame followed by guilt leading to his typical final reaction let me out of here identifying and setting himself as setting aside the critic helped david open to his core wound and his genuine needs which is critic usually kept him from experiencing then he would begin to make friends with his need to have his own space he discovered that this need contained a wisdom of its own about the importance of maintaining his integrity in a relationship finding nourishment in his own being and not sacrificing any of that just to make another person happy in honoring the intelligence in his need he found a power spot here he could be fully himself without having to depend on anyone else for fulfillment having found his seat david no longer needed his old story that women are out to eat you alive instead of having to fight for space of pushing jan away he could express his need for space more simply and directly since this made him more emotionally present jan no longer felt so threatened in a similar way by exploring the pain she felt in chasing after david jan contacted her own wound her conflicted feelings about needing love 
because she had felt so unfulfilled as a child. Part of her had come to believe that she was unworthy of love before she could make friends with her need for loving contact. Jan too had to become aware of her critic who said, you're so needy, what's wrong with you? Her usual response to his, this voice was to collapse and lose her seat, which only made her feel more powerless and needy. This was her bog. Through opening to her core wound and learning to face down her critic, she developed the courage to acknowledge her need for love more straightforwardly. Befriending her need allowed Jan to find her power and appreciate herself in a new way. She began to realise that the open-heartedness in her desire for love and contact was a real strength rather than a weakness. When she could finally express her desire for closeness simply and directly, David no longer felt th so threatened and could be more responsive. As they made friends with their needs, Jan and David no longer felt compelled to project their fears. No longer seeing each other as oppressors, they could begin to communicate what they were actually experiencing in their conflicts. When Jan could simply say, I'm feeling abandoned and scared right now, David became less defensive. And when he could say, I'm feeling overwhelmed and put on the spot, this disarmed her. They also found such humour in the situation by making up names for their respective bogs. And this gave them a friendly way of reminding each other when they were slipping into an abandonment or engulfment panic. Okay, that's it for today. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care and blessed be. Thank you.